I don't know whether you've ever heard sort of the economic theory of the the prisoner's dilemma, yeah. where it would be in the interest of everyone to agree, mm -hmm. but in the absence of a contract, they won't agree. And so they will all end up with a worse outcome. And, and that's what happens. In addition, you can have truly nefarious situation. For example, you may have a, a large investor with a lot of capital. And while it may be great for the sponsor if the deal had more money, the investor might be sitting there saying, no, you're going to run out of money, and then I'm going to make you a lowball offer to buy the property from you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's not nice, but it is what happens. So now to sort of try to answer your your question more, the the idea is that the sponsor, no matter what kinds of equity and how much equity there is outstanding and the terms of the equity must have the right to bring in new equity on whatever terms he can get 